Hello students, I am Alia Nurlambekovna, the discipline of our lesson, English for professional purposes. And I welcome you to the 11th lesson of our course. And today we will have two topics, there are lexical and the grammatical topics. The lexical topic about student and teacher relationships and the, the grammatical topic of our lesson is um, question tags and uh, types of questions so the grammatical uh, part of our lesson um, you can see by following the link given in the electronic journal where the syllabus is loaded and uh, uh, well as before i would like to start of our lesson with warming up and uh, um with quotes with quotes by Derek Meder, teacher to teach communication tips for effective teacher to teach communication effective teacher to teach communication is vitally important to your success as a teacher education is a very difficult concept for those outside the field to understand having peers that you can collaborate with and lean on during tough times is essential if you find yourself in isolation and uh, or always having conflict with your peers then there is a good chance that you may need to make some changes yourself and uh, there are seven things to avoid when trying to build positive relationships with faculty and staff members at high school or school and uh, there are 11 things to keep in mind when trying to build positive relationships with faculty and staff members at school and the high school and after um, uh, after to, uh, after after to keep in mind when trying to build positive relationships relationships with faculty and staff members at school you uh, have to paraphrase 10 sentences uh, after reading um, effective teacher to teach communications and uh, this in the speaking a part of our lesson answers the questions using the required information from above text uh, and uh, the writing task of our lesson uh, which numbered parts of the text given below correspond to the following headings? Put them in a logical order as a short outline to compose an essay. Uh, the first outline, the first outline of our writing, communicate often, and the next one, fake it when necessary and the third build their trust and uh, the next one document every communication and uh, the end listen to them and uh, the next uh, the next task of your uh, reading uh, read over the comprehensions questions or to focus attention on finding the information what do good teacher student relationships look like and why do these relationships matter and so on and so on and the our lessons is over your home task will be read the ideal teacher student relationships and complete the sentences using the necessary words instead of definitions in brackets and uh, after reading um, the there are answer uh, test questions you have to answer the test questions on the pages 105 to 110 the lessons is over goodbye